My name is Matt Gibson. I'm an associate investigator at the Stowers Institute in Kansas City, Missouri. And my lab is interested in the control of epithelial architecture. Most of the cells in our bodies and those of animals, generally speaking, are organized into layers known as epithelia. And these epithelia are mostly monolayer cell sheets where individual cells are regimented into a highly ordered architecture that performs many critical functions during development and also in adult animals. But one of the problems epithelial uh, cells face is that they have to maintain this rigid architecture while rapidly dividing, especially during development. So in our latest research, we've investigated how epithelial cells can both undergo the cytoskeletal gymnastics of cell division and also maintain this precise form. And what we found is that the linkages between epithelial cells that are known as junctions, that's essentially where they stick together, serve as molecular guideposts to orient the mitotic spindle of dividing cells. The mitotic spindle is basically a molecular machine that can divide the DNA into two daughters. And during cell division, the spindle uses these junctions between cells as a guide to orient precisely to the plane of the epithelium. This results in two daughters perfectly integrated into the cell layer. However, when we disrupt these junctions, the mitotic spindle can misorient. This results in an aberrant daughter cell that can essentially remove itself from the epithelium because it's no longer connected to the junctional contacts. This process looks very much like the initiating process of human cancers known as epithelial to mesenchymal transition. Basically, where an epithelial cell turns into a mesenchymal cell that's not connected to any of its neighbors. And so by studying this process of epithelial cell division in the simple fruit fly, Drosophila melanogaster, we're gaining new insights into the uh, possible mechanisms that initiate human disease.